<laughs> Welcome back, folks. It's the Dazone Boxing Show. I go by the name of Ak. And I'm Barack the Boxing Bully. And today's not a regular day. It's International Women's Day. We all know how amazing women are and how much they've moved forward in so many genres, especially boxing, Barack. Yes. I mean, I, I'll be honest. I want to talk about past, present, and future. But I'll be remiss if I don't mention this one woman that really made women's boxing entertaining. And her name is Christy Martin, Barack. Absolutely. I remember being a young uh, fight fan watching the likes of Iron Mike Tyson. And to, to prep you, like to open up for Mike Tyson, you, you, you got to be entertaining. This yeah. woman has opened up for Mike Tyson. I mean, Barack, talk about how entertaining she was as a fighter. Forget about being a woman. Listen, Mike Tyson was in awe of her. <laughs> Mike Tyson was a fan of Christy Martin's. And, and back then, I, I, mean, I was a kid or whatever, but I didn't like female boxing. I, I, I never watched a Layla Ali fight who saw Christy Martin and, and, and started boxing. You know, and I admitted that to Layla Ali. I had to watch all of her fights way after as an adult, you know? So Christy Martin is that one that put women's boxing on the map straight up and down because she had the power she had the, she had the style like mike tyson she'd walk you down she's knocking women out that's what people wanted that's what men wanted to see because it's, it's a man's sport you know men are usually the bigger audience she didn't really bring women to the table you know as far as the audience but right. she made us happy I mean, to be honest with you, Barack, it's, sa it's kind of safe to say that she set the bar too high for women in some <laughs> regard, you know, because well, now, now she she opened the doors, like you said, she paved the ways like for the Layla Ali's of the world that came and had that same type of energy, entertaining, wanting to knock people out. But but those girls, starting with Christy Martin, uh, you know, set the bar high. And I think that's why maybe women's boxing took a little slump for a while because they weren't seeing that type of aggressive action inside a ring, especially girls stopping girls, knocking girls out. So uh, she she came she came into the game on a high. Just like with the men, you know, the men kind of took a decline after Mike Tyson, you know, heavyweights was the, is the most watched division at one time. And now, you know, we're watching all divisions, but you know, you need that polarizing figure. And she, it was also timing as well, not just her skill set. You know, not just her ferociousness, but it was also that she was on the undercards of Mike Tyson fights. Yeah, you know, so it just it, it made sense. And literally the only fight that I seen of Layla Ali was against Christy Martin. And that's because it was a Christy Martin. It was her name. You know, she was way past her prime, but it was her name. And I just wanted to see that particular fight. But um, yeah, man, but fast forward to today. I mean, I mean in on. between that, look, uh, and you mentioned Layla Ali, we got we got to mention Ann Wolf and, and th those girls kept that excitement going, but then there was there was a slump, Barack. When did it come back? <laughs> oh man, that's, that's a good question. I, I think that, I can't tell you when it, yes, I can tell you when it came back because in reality, sure no, in reality, for me, I can tell you, it was, my excitement came back last year. You know, mm. my excitement for the sport, uh, uh, the women's but, part but, of it. But the... that's not saying that there weren't any exciting women in the. In no, the, you know, no. I, go ahead. No, I'm saying like before last year, there were women, but I know what you're saying. You didn't feel the way you feel now about the sport, but you would you would respect when you saw a woman that was entertaining. It just you wasn't a, a bunch of stars. That's all I'm trying to say. It wasn't right. a bunch of stars. You had Katie Taylor. She she was dominating. You know, and speaking it, of that, can I can I tell you when I got excited about it a little bit? It yeah, go ahead. It Katie, doesn't matter what I have to say. No, go no, right because ahead. you mentioned Katie Taylor and you mentioned last year. Right. But I'm thinking of 2018 when Katie fought in Boston against Cindy Serrano. Just right. That crowd showing her skill set. Exactly, showing her skill set and that crowd, how excited they was about her. It kind of made it made me want to watch her. And I also have to say that, you know, watching Amanda Serrano as well. Yeah, I, I became I became a big fan of, of Katie's. But the thing is, is that when a, what, what makes an era exciting is having rival rivalries and just a lot of good talent, you know. And now I believe since like last year, you, you have Katie that's dominant. You have Clarissa Shields that's dominant. And now right now you have seven undisputed women's champions. They're all stars. You, you, Alicia Baumgartner. Oh uh, yeah, wow, it's crazy. Think about crazy. it. Amanda Serrano just won, you know, all of the belts. Alicia Baumgartner, you have French on who's Desern, you have 
And M- 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 uh, McCaskill is still undisputed at 147. You got right. Chantel Cameron at 140. You know, so you so got um, Clarissa Shields at 160. And then you, come on, this is crazy. And then you got who's waiting to get in, like Shadeja Green and Raquel yeah. Millers and Sanisha Estrada is an unbelievable talent. I believe she's going to be next to be undisputed champion. So I just Women's named 10 is women lit. at least. Is lit. Is lit. I just named 10 women and that's 10 stars. And women's boxing never really had a plethora of stars. And that's why today is incredible. I mean, it was always less than a handful. And, and look, I asked you, who who do you think brought women's boxing back? And to, to be honest, I, I would have to say Clarissa Shields. And I only say that because Clarissa uh, was the first American to ever win two Olympic gold medalists, male or I, female. I would say, I would say and, it would have to be her and Katie. And Katie, you no, got to no, think no. about it. Clarissa did it in America. No, Katie I'm talking about did in America. It outside I'm, of America. So you come together. You got you got no, the it's world two, it's watching two women's boxing. You're right, but if I had to talk about where we live in America, uh, just you know, watching the documentary that she put out uh, and 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 people making noise about this this young girl winning a gold medal at 17 and then going back four years later and doing it again and then becoming undisputed in two weight classes, she needs credit for that too. But I'm saying yeah. all that to say I agree with you. Never been this many stars in a, in female boxing before. Um, there. They're all holding their own in their own weight classes and, and entertaining fight fans. Finally, you know, I don't want to hear any complaints about those fight fans that throw shots, negative shots at women's boxing saying, I don't see knockouts. It's not entertaining. Guys like Bob Arum, <laughs> you know, you guys need to hush it up right, right now because these women are entertaining and, and in some cases more than men. Yeah, a hundred percent. And like I said, there's, there's stars. And then there's women on the side who were champions or, or or about to be champions on the cusp of being champions. You got Michaela Mayer, you know, who has a rivalry that's brewing with Baumgartner. So, and Baumgartner is, is undisputed. So this is just this is an incredible era for women's boxing. And you know what's crazy about all of that? What? Most of those names that I named, they're young. They, they're Super still young. fresh. Under 30. And, and, and Strada and all them, they're still fresh. Like, you, you the you best woman in the world right now is, is either Katie Taylor or Clarissa Shields. Probably Clarissa Shields on most lists. And she's in her 20s. Right, right. And, and you know, you brought up uh, Baumgartner. We were in the garden when she fought. And guess who was sitting right next to us? Michaela Mayer. Now, you're talking about the cameras uh, facing her. Like, that type of action and that type of tension, we don't, we rarely see that. You know, not, the, not the networks right. want to, the people want to know what's going on. They want to see these girls fight again. Uh, women's boxing, it's popping, it's lit. Uh, yes. And, and that night, tune in. wasn't there like five undisputed women? Yeah, in no, attendance yeah. you know you had Franchon Cruz Desern who was there and she was watching Shadeja Green yeah you know who had an a, an incredible uh, stoppage win you know so this oh my god like I got excited last year I've, I've watched women's boxing for years now but I got excited about it last year at the garden when yeah, it was oh, Serrano man. versus Katie Taylor I, I've never felt energy like that I've never heard a crowd like that you and I've been to Kodo fights you couldn't <laughs> at the be garden. in that you couldn't it, like if you were in that building right there and you say you didn't feel that, then you didn't have a pulse. Like, no, like everybody. I, like there's no way you couldn't feel that energy. So yeah, I mean, it, this episode was in honor of of women overall. So um, they're bringing. Why didn't you wear your sport. respect women worldwide or whatever hat that you <laughs> That's were wearing? Because I was rushing here to do this show for you guys, but nevertheless, that's our show for today. Hope you guys enjoy it. Peace and love. Stay safe. Respect women worldwide. We're out of here. Introducing the new DAZN Boxing Show podcast. No matter the time or the place, getting your boxing content has become easier than ever. Tune in as we give you exclusive insights, predictions, fight night recaps, and more alongside the biggest names in the game. All for free. Available globally every Thursday across all audio streaming platforms and with new episodes dropping weekly to give you the latest news. Just type in the DAZN Boxing Show podcast, listen in, and enjoy.